you know what? You don't need good weather to get a good picture. Us for the landscape photographers, we're always looking at the weather forecast. Is it too bright? Is it too dark? Is it gonna rain? What's the weather gonna do? Am I gonna get a good sunrise? Am I gonna get a good sunset? Sometimes you just don't know. And today, well, today was one of those days where it was gonna be, well, gray, overcast, and rain everywhere. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna find a composition. I'm gonna make something work. Now, I've come to Dawlish here on the South Devon coast. And as you can see, well, it's gray and wet here. But that's not gonna stop me getting an image. So let me tell you what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna use the groin as my main element in the picture. It's gonna form a leading line from the center of the image leading straight out to the sea. And then I'm gonna put my circular polarizer on so I can take some of the glare off the water. And then also I'm gonna add in a 10 stop neutral density filter. This is to really smooth out the seas, make it perfectly flat. And this will help with my, the minimalistic element that I want to put into this uh, image. So let's put it all together and get started. So as you can see, I've got everything set up there behind me. And um, I've got the camera on the tripod, I've got the, my 24 to 70 lens set up, and I've got my circular polarizer and my big stopper. To help keep the rain off uh, the filters, which is always quite a difficult thing when, to do when it's uh, chucking it down like this, um, I've put an umbrella onto a light stand attached to my tripod. That's my little uh, custom fix for when I need to take pictures with filters and then there's a lot of rain. So anyway, I've got everything set up. It's fairly straightforward. Let's take a picture. So just like that, I've got a nice, simple, but pleasing image. Don't always have to have the epic sunrises or sunsets or, or glorious light. Just sometimes you have to embrace the, the gray. So with that, I've got the picture. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna print it and see what it looks like in paper. So I'm back home now and I've post-processed and printed the image and here is the final result, which I'm pretty happy with. Now, a lot of people have asked, what's my post-processing technique? So I will be actually be creating a separate video for that and I'll also be doing a follow-up for doing printing soon. But, um, so I'm not gonna talk too much about how I've post-processed this image, but I will highlight a couple of things that I have done. So for the top half of the image, I use a graduated filter in Lightroom. And what I would normally do is I'd normally adjust the clarity and all the dehaze slider to the right, just to bring out some of the contrast and some of the detail in the sky. But I've actually done the opposite for this picture. So I've actually taken the dehaze slider and I've pushed it slightly to the left, just to kind of match more of the kind of mood of the image and, and how I felt when I was actually taking this picture. The other one is I've also done a graduated filter on this part of the image, um, but I've used a new feature in Lightroom CC Classic, um, which allowed me to create a luminance uh, filter just on the area of this pier. And what I've done there is I've just, just slightly desaturated it a little bit and I've also just pulled up the warmth of that particular area because it's quite a blue image um, particularly because of the, the amount of light that I had on that day. Um, and I just wanted to pull that back just a little bit. But I think those couple of small things there have really helped the image. So overall though, I'm extremely happy with this. Uh, given the weather conditions um, that I had, um, I think this is uh, not too bad. So I hope you enjoyed that video and the resulting image. Um, when I went out to Dawish, I wasn't actually intending to make a video. So that's probably why it was a little bit rough and ready out in the field there. Um, but I felt that when I got out there and I started taking pictures, I thought there was a story to tell and I wanted to share it with you. Now, I'm as guilty as the next person for doing this. I'm always looking for great light for my photographs, whether it's side lighting, dramatic skies, great sunrises, great sunsets. Um, but over the last few weeks, I've been getting sort of increasingly frustrated with my uh, local weather. I don't get to go out every day with a camera, so but it just seemed to be that on the days that I did go out, the weather was rubbish. It was all grey and overcast and a bit dull. And I wasn't feeling motivated or inspired to, to go out and take pictures. And then I thought back um, to images that I'd taken a, a few years ago and a professional photographer said to me, you've got to embrace the grey. 
So that, that, I remember that and I thought, yeah, maybe there is an image to get. And then I thought about uh, the groin at Dawish and I thought that will make for a great image, a nice minimalistic, moody image, definitely going to be a long exposure. And I thought, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I got the camera, I went out there and I shot that video. And I got an image that I have to say that I'm, I'm pretty happy with given the condition. So really what I wanted to say with this story is, yes, great light is wonderful and you can have some really amazing pictures. But if you look hard enough, there are definitely images to be had pretty well, no matter what the weather conditions are. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that like button and do leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply to everyone's comments. And if you want to see more content, particularly if you want to see my post-processing video or my follow-up uh, printing video, hit the subscribe button and also click on that bell icon. That way you'll receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video. But until the next one, I'll see you then.